All right, this is gonna be fun. We got a throwback, 1986, year in review. It's the January 1987, so we're seeing the year in review. Boy, he hasn't aged well, has he? That was Prince Andrew. All right, so we want to find, and being a year in pictures, how wonderful is that? We're gonna have lots of pictures. I don't know where that is. That looks like it's probably in France. And this looks like the Mets win. Front runners came from behind to snatch the World Series from the Boston Red Sox. There's a joyous salute to freedom. Ooh, top of the line dodge, nice. All right, I'll scooch this over so you can see things. Camel, never smoked camel. I know there's a few. Oh, this is uh, Ru Rudolf Nureyev. Those are ballet guys. See, I have some culture, just not a whole lot. That's a cute picture. All right, sexy girl in shoulder pads at the beach in a Mercury. All right, who's Nancy? John McCann, John Mc McMahon, McMahon, Jim McMahon. Okay, Top Guns. Uh, we got Whitney, great body. David Letterman, David Letterman, so, and we could use him as a friend. David Letterman's hilarious. He just wanted to be left alone, honestly. And they couldn't do it. Robert Penn Warren. Poet Laureate. Wow, that's cool. That's a very fancy title. I'm not good at poetry. I don't do it. I can, I can appreciate, oh my gosh, look at how cool that picture is. Coming into... New York City. Oh, there's Lady Liberty. It's kind of a weird angle of her. That's neat. It's a nice picture. We may be able to use some of that. Oh, there's another picture like that one. Maybe we could... Uh... Voices of Dense Information. Hmm. Interesting. Things never change. There's Ronnie and Nancy. There is the Challenger. Oh my goodness. I was in high school for the Challenger when it blew up and it had, um, it blew up and we were all watching it as children, as in high school. But it was just, we had been told about the teacher who was going to be going up in the Challenger, and then it exploded. It was very sad. Okay, aftershocks. I wish I'd been Superman so I could have saved them. Mario Carrillo, a Dallas fourth grader. I'm telling you, we all sat there and watched a beloved teacher die in a crash. It was not good. They, I don't think they, they used to have, um, now they have, oh, four Broncos. They just started making those again. Um, I don't think they used to have seven second delays where they could have like not shown all the little children the uh, teacher blowing up. Okay, colors. I have one of those on my car now. It's just not as um, wholesome. My son-in-law got it for me. Oh, look, Godzilla. Who's that? Okay, Tip O'Neill. Oh my goodness, Tip O'Neill. God bless him. I like black and white checks. Okay, let's keep looking. Stephen King, it. Did you guys do this? We've seen it in the other magazine with the uh, with the, the CDs, but I used to order the books. You could get a lot of great books that way. Okay, 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 okay. 
We're getting near the end. So we have to go back, because I didn't pull anything out, which is not, not, not a bother. Let's go back, and a whole bunch of it is folded over in the middle, which is a little disconcerting. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna find a head. Carrie Grant. There's a little kid. I don't use little kids. Although that person is probably grown by now. Right? I'm not going to use any um, tragedies. The Mets. I think my husband likes the Mets. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, who won? Willie Shoemaker rides Ferdinand to Kentucky Derby. I like horse racing very much. Okay, I'm going to use these illustrations in a background. This Life is a very large magazine. All right, do we want to cut out Whitney and use her body? I think I'm going to use Whitney's body because that is a beautiful dress. I just can't use all of that. Um, Uh, the the cape and stuff too much so now I have to find head okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna use oh did I miss I'm gonna use the the Statue of Liberty I'm gonna use this thing because it's just speaking to me sometimes things just say something and then you tear them out. Of course, it's on the back of this. Which I was just like, oh, did I miss another one of those? So I may not have enough of those to use as a background. But I just kind of adore this. It's very strong. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it and maybe do it as a board. Renault. It looks like Renault, but it's Renault. Okay, Challenger. Oh, this is Mrs. McCullough. I just, yeah, oh, poor thing. Okay. Okay, let's move past that. Ooh, what's that? Ice cream. I need a body. Oh, no, I need a head. I hope I don't have to use that giant man's head. Oh, that's Michael Douglas a million years ago. Holy heck. Okay, here's one. go. That's cute. Legs are not arms. I don't get that. Oh, there's one. It's kind of a weird one, though. I got a ton of bodies, but no heads. Do we want Godzilla? Okay, I like... I can... This is a tough one, you guys. Okay, so I have that doggy. I have this. I'm just gonna start, maybe this is one of those ones like Tisha Moore where there's just little things around. Do you feel like I have any sort of head I can use? There's just that one really bizarre guy in the front. Let's see, his head is very big. Okay, there's the only head in here that I could use is that man. Okay, I'm gonna try a bunch of different things. I'm gonna try a cowboy. I'm gonna cut out whatever I can and see what I can use. I'm gonna try a cowboy head. I'm still not gonna use a child. You can use kids. It, like, I, I wouldn't look down on anybody using kids. It just doesn't make me comfortable. Um, where's that? And I don't, I don't like an angry man. Angry men scare me. But the only man I remember seeing is this one. I don't want Mike Tyson. This is youngest ch chess champion. I doubt I'm going to use him. I don't really care for him. But what about David Letterman's doggies? Oh, they might have been back on the back of Angry Man's head. Yep. 
I can't see myself using an angry man's head. I'm just not gonna, I won't do it. I'll use a cowboy head. We'll have a dog head. We'll have a thousand different things, but I'm not having an angry man in my journal because angry men scare me. So let's see what we got. We got uh, some doggies. We got a cowboy and a horse. Maybe we could use a horse. We got Godzilla, a doggy, these cool illustrations, this amazing background, this, the Statue of Liberty, Whitney Houston, this background. All right, so that's what we got. I will be back after I get these cut out. And we got all kinds of cool stuff cut out. And I cut out the most amazing thing I think I've ever cut out in my life. Okay, whew. We are gonna have to find, I don't know if this is gonna be a wide one or a tall one, but wait till you see this thing. We have to find a background, so I kinda have blues and greens going on. Oh, I really like that teal. Let's see what else we got. Now that's too, she's very formal. So I need something a little blingy. I need something a little fancy. I don't know I wanna do black today. Let's see. I don't know, what about this? And then I can put something on there. Hold on, let me show you what I have. And then we'll decide if it's a onesie or a twosie. I think it's a twosie, I need a twosie. I'm feeling lazy today, so I'm just going to do it on craft paper. We're going to do it on here. Okay, so I have Whitney, but don't get attached to Whitney. I have the Statue of Liberty. I have this amazing Statue of Liberty that was from behind the boats that I just thought was so cool and graphic, such a good element. Okay, here we go. We have him, look. She's gonna be a smoking dude. I think that's fun. Um, all right, we have doggies all over. I have another doggy. I have a Godzilla. Oh, I kind of feel like he blends into her skirt. Would he be fun to put kind of with her over here? All right, so we have some background and we have some border stuff and we have a horse. I don't think I'm gonna use the horse. Okay, so that's what we got going. What do we want to do with all the doggles? Oh, I love those guys together. So they could be a, a downward border here. We could move this over. He could be crawling on Whitney. All right. So with all this blue and green, I am thinking I want kind of a yellow, what's in these colors? So that we have black and white, we have kind of a beigey thing going on. Do we wanna do a beige? I have beige paint. I hardly ever do a beige paint. Okay, well, let's try it. We are gonna do brushed corduroy and tea dye. And I'm gonna get out a really cool Vicki Booten stencil to make a background like bordery color thing. But let's get this started so we can 
keep this moving. Keep it moving, peeps. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> no, not even close. And I have to apologize, there is a thunderstorm banging like crazy out there. Don't worry, I just checked the time and the little children aren't coming home quite yet. So, of course, Desi didn't drive today. So I am going to have to run and fetch them at the bus stop because it is a deluge. It's not just rainy today, it is pour raining, it's pouring. The old man is definitely snoring. All right, I don't need this to be covered completely, but I would like it to be slightly covered. And then I'm gonna give it a quick dry and then we're gonna get the stencil. I figured I was okay to dry this because Tim Holtz literally dries everything he makes. He's hilarious. Okay, oh, look, we found a little thing and now we're gonna use some tea dye. I need to find a... There's no more room at the inn. Okay, okay, and I love Vicki Booten. She made all of these amazing circle stencils for me. I will put a link to her stencils below so you can see them. You're allowed to buy them too, but they make me the happiest, so I think Vicki Booten made them for me. I'm a circle stencil kind of gal. I want a few more. I don't want to go crazy. Oh, that's better. Something maybe down here. And one little bit in the middle to use up our paint. Yay, us. was fun. Okay. Now that we have a background, let's, and I'm running out of Nouveau paint or Nouveau glue. So I'm thinking, I don't like to do this. We're not going to do it. We're going to use the Nouveau until she dies. Okay. So now we want to make a border and we got these fun border pieces. I'm going to tear them up while this dries. That's pretty. And I kind of want the ratty edge. I don't want it to be so perfect. Do we have any other border stuff? I don't think so. We have that really cool ship mast with the Statue of Liberty. And then we have the Statue of Liberty itself. And I'm feeling with as dark as some of this border stuff is, we're gonna need to get some dark up in here where the border is gonna overpower our decoupage. But I have that black and white check. So don't forget, we could probably work on that too, putting that somewhere. Let's start gluing some stuff down. I feel like this could be a top corner, but let's get this behind it first. A schnoz. We're gonna put the schnoz upside down so it doesn't seem so much like a schnoz, right? And I need one to come down here. We may not get all the way around with our border this time, which is fine. Don't forget down here, we have doggies, so we can probably cheat that a little bit, right? 
So let's work out. I'm gonna put this in this top corner and I'm gonna put the other one in the other corner just like this. I have a bigger triangle. Well, hang on, I'll show you and then I'll do that and then I'll be right back. So see, I have a triangle. I'm gonna do this and this and put my triangle in the corner. All right, so we have those two corners anchored, right? Let's see again what we're trying to do here. I think he's gonna, she, excuse me, sorry, Mrs. Liberty. She is for sure gonna be right there. I think our three doggies are over top of her. So I need a piece of background here. There we go. And I think, can we get around? Let's do a half a piece. I don't know if you can see this. This is what we have left. Sorry to wiggle you. All right, I feel like we do a cute piece behind these doggies. And let's go up here and do the top corner. Because if you're ever gonna run out of border or anything, you kinda wanna do it in the middle because not everybody looks at the middle, but everybody follows your top corner around. But I think we're gonna be okay. I think I had a fair bit of this. And I am for sure this time gonna do it this way because I don't want it to feel like this border is the actual border. So let's do this. I want that to come down a little bit to make it kind of wonky. I like a little bit of a wonky border. Let's do this. Kind of put that like that because I'm probably gonna put some of Okay, I have another little wonky piece I need right here, right? We have a, a gap. Darn it, it didn't turn out to be wonky. It turned out to be just the right side. Okay, that one can be a little wonky because we're gonna stick it out and watch this. This is gonna be tricky. We're gonna put this piece of that right there, add a little interest. We're gonna put a piece of this up here. Nice. I have one more piece. That's gonna kinda be behind, but I feel like I need to, feel like I need to split this up and put it in two places so we can kinda get it around all over. There we go. There we go, perfect. Now, look, we even had a piece left. Okay, so let's put down the Statue of Liberty and she's gonna go right here. Okay, now we need the doggies. So we're gonna do the bottoms of them just right along here so we can get them set is one of the doggies has to come in behind, right? Like that. So he is all his back and then this part, and he is all his back. And he is all his back. Whoo, that was a lot of doggies. All right, we'll give it a minute and then we'll glue down that last doggie. Okay. Let's get this figured out. Oh, do we want the oh? Do we want this one? Kind of like that, don't you? Where that kind of is the base. Yep. I kind of love that. Okay. So let's start gluing down this monstrosity. So it doesn't look like such a pain in the butt, but it took like an hour to cut out. And I knew it would look really cool on the page, but I was cussing it the whole way. All right, let's finish gluing this and then we can glue Whitney down and then I can go doodle. I don't know if that top one gets stuck. I don't think it gets stuck, but let's, Come up here, maybe it'll stick a little bit. 
I don't know. Okay, there we go. That is very cool. Okay, so we have to make sure Whitney is not covering up the Statue of Liberty. So we could do this. We want to have her arm right there. I kind of love that. Okay, we're going to have to cut her off at her head. Okay. Will he work like that? Yes, he will work like that. Now, mostly in design, you want him to be looking into the page, not out of the page, but that just wasn't possible with this. In my normal life, I would not have him looking out of the page. All right. I think we can cheat this a little bit by coming up under his ear. Neither one of them had a good neck. There we go. Can we follow that shadow line of her? Yeah, and I can just paint that in. I feel like this piece now makes it look like it's cattywampus and we don't need it. Okay, here we go. See, we're kind of gluing him right in that little tuck right there. Oh, that'll work. Okay, hold on. I don't want to move this because... I feel like he's just perfect. I like his cigarette. She is just the wrong size. But I think the only way I really like her is when her arm is on the post, right? So it makes it look like she's kind of holding on to that. So many fingers. She has very, Whitney Houston had very long fingers. Such a legend. Gone too soon. The back of this is a little creepy, isn't it? Here's Whitney holding that. We got our cigarette. There we go. Uh oh! We forgot him. I think I might tuck him right in the corner there. And then I'm going to wash my hands because my hands are covered in glue. And it's making everything 10 times harder than it needs to be. Watch, we're gonna tuck him right in there along the corner so you can just see him. Let's see if we need this dog, it might be too much. I think the do this dog takes away from the beauty of this. So I'm not gonna put that dog in, but I got all these other dogs for you. Don't be mad. All right, just glue down this fun guy, and I'm going to go doodle tonight, and I will be back. Uh-oh, don't mess up his ear. Okay, I was working on this page, and while I was doing it, I found this amazing quote from Emma Lazarus in November 2nd, 1883, and this is just part of her quote. But this is about the Statue of Liberty. Here at our Sea Watch Sunset's Gate shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning and her name, Mother of Exiles. Okay, and then I had taken already and painted Whitney's um, skin black because I wanted to kind of <sighs> decrease this. And then once I found this quote, the doggies are fine. I love doggies. I can't ever be sad I have doggies. I kind of like the mother of exiles, almost a mother of dragons. But I have a problem with this man now in my magazine collage. So there's things we could do. We could paint over it, but I thought I would find a woman to put her head on. So first... Um, so my criteria for finding a woman, I wanted African-American, Hispanic, Asian-American, something like that, so that it would be somebody who may come in as an exile, right? This is not going to come as a surprise to some of us. It's very hard to find non-white girls in magazines. So I thought she was okay, but then I kind of did this. I kind of did that. I'm going to have a hat issue. I'm okay with that. Um, but she was okay. Then I found this girl, and she's better, 
right? Like I could even get her ears almost to the edge. I could just do a darker outline around her um, with my dots. But I felt like she was happier than what I wanted to do. And then I found this girl who I literally just used in a different collage. And I think she's going to be perfect. Um, I don't know what her ethnic heritage is. But let's see what we can do. And we're just going to paint over her hand. Where her hand and her hair are. Because you'll never notice that. Okay. And we are going to come down here. Come down here. And then come up here. And I'm going to make... Stupid ears. Ears are just the bane of my existence. We have his ear to bother us this time. Okay, so now we're going to put her on here and she's going to go off the page, which is fine. I love that. And I'm trying to figure out, I think I'm going to, I think I kind of want to use some of her neck. So I'm going to come up here and just cut out this neck and cut out this neck because I want to I want to get her hair behind her is that a really fat neck for this girl I don't want her to have a super fat neck just because there's a man back there and her hair will cover up right that okay so here we go we can put her on with a neck kind of right there we're gonna get to see her eyes and maybe a little bit of her eyebrows Okay, so let's give her a little bit of a scoopy neck. So we're going to go across the three of these. Okay, so this is going to be her neck right there. And then this is going to be... I think I'm going to paint in her hair. This poor girl, I cut her hair off every single time. She's probably getting a complex about it by now, I would think. <laughs> okay, that's just silly. And come in here come down her face so I can only have a little bit of a neck and still cover his can I have any neck I would rather have a weird head situation going on oh I could tip her head there we go I could tip her head okay I'm not gonna be able to do a neck I'm just gonna have to tip her head I like to have a neck, but I need to get rid of this man in this picture. And I want a very pretty woman who could possibly be an exile. And then I just have that. We know it's a hat, but nobody else will know it's a hat. See, I think if I could get her up a little bit, I can paint over that. Well, nobody will know what that is. I could, I'm trying to get past her finger. Past her finger is right, well, I can just give her a big neck, honestly. Nope, that's as far as I can go. Well, if that's as far as I can go, I am going to cover the cigarettes, or at least make it not so prominent. I'm going to put her right there. And we will figure out the rest, but this makes me so much more happy than a dude with a cowboy hat and a cigarette. He just could not be in my Mother of Exiles. So that's something to really think about, you guys, is this is for you. Um, I would guarantee you that nobody else would think, oh, I bet you she's trying to cover up a um, dude with a cigarette with that lady because we're going to incorporate her in here. Okay, she's going to be in exile. And then, then this makes me so much happier. Okay, now we can't do really anything with this until it dries because it will eat my paint pens and things like that. So what I thought I would do, because I knew I would have a little bit of a lag, was to show you guys how I am going to fancy up my text. Okay, so this is, do I want this one? No, I want this one. So this is fat, this is skinnier. This is not the skinniest. This is second skinniest. I did this with a skinny um, Sharpie. Okay, so the way that you make your um, text look fancy is you make the downstroke fat. 
Okay, so downstroke here is what we would do. Downstroke here. If I was going to do this, I would do this. Over, come up, go down, come up. Down, 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 right? So we're gonna make that fancy. Down, down over here. And as you're watching me do this, you're probably thinking, oh, that looks a little funny. Well, number one, I'm probably gonna go back in and finesse it one more time with the very special, um, here, I'll show you. So this is the 0.7 mm, um, and I will probably do this afterwards, um, but I'm gonna come in here and do this, right? Kind of merge those lines. But I didn't wanna have to do it all with my Posca, skinny Posca pen because then I would run out of Posca pen ink. But that is just for me, that's not for for public consumption. This this really speaks to me and it's making me happy and I wanna do it fancy. So down, down, down. And I'm not gonna say that each time because the last time I did this, I said that 4,000 times and when I edited it, I was like, oh my gosh, I just said that 4,000 times. I try not to be ridiculous. So I'm gonna do these and I'm gonna um, put you on pause and I'm going to come back and show you the final version and we'll finish her up. Okay, we just have a couple little things to do. Um, I had a blowout on my pen, so I just covered that up. You may not have noticed that. Earlier I had a blow up on, um, I dragged something. The reason I point those out to you is to show you that you would, oops, look, I got a new Nuvo. So excited. But my, my uh, Godzilla's finger was coming up. Um, I don't show that to, to like say, oh my gosh, I screwed up. I show that to show you that you would never have noticed that if I hadn't pointed it out to you. Okay, we're gonna put, we're gonna do a little bit of brown and I have three colors of brown. I'm gonna put a little dark brown around her and I'm sorry if my head's in the way, around her eyelashes just to give her a little bit more eyeliner. Darken up those lids. And then maybe I'll do the very, very top of her eyes. And this is India ink pen. I was using Posca at um, acrylic ink pen before. All right, next, I feel like this is, they're a similar shade um, or tone, but I feel like this may be the next one. And I'm just trying to get some color and dimension in her eyes. Because, you know, our eyes are not plain brown, right? I have almost black eyes. I have very pretty eyes. They're my favorite. Okay, so there we go. We got her eyes a little fancier. And then the last thing I want to do is just do a little bit on her lips. And we will be done. And I know this was a one magazine collage challenge. This was the Life Magazine, right? And for me, it was way more important to have something amazing that I love than to kind of follow the letter of my own rules, right? So, so yes, it was kind of a rule to me that I use one magazine. But then when it turned into something amazing that I loved, I just decided, okay, I'm going to break my own rule and make a page that I adore rather than just keep blindly going in a direction. So to me, this is truly a beautiful page with a great message for me. Um, about the mother of exiles, especially with some of the things going on in the news today. And it makes me happy. So hopefully that helps Tara Jacobson artsy fartsy life.